hello guys welcome back in this video i will show you how you can create seo friendly unique article for your blog post as you might have known before now that uh, content is king in blogging and for you to get um, any reasonable result your content game must be top notch so don't ever play with your content strategy for any reason Meanwhile, before I proceed, if you are new on this channel and you are yet to subscribe, kindly click on the subscribe button below. Also, smash on the like button on this video. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon so that you always get notified whenever we post a new update. Alright, so the name of the tool that we are going to be using for this is known as kateb.com. So go over to your browser and type kateb.com. Ensure you watch this video till the end because there are specific um, steps and strategies that you have to use in order to get the best out of this and to be able to create high quality and valuable content, which Google will find uh, helpful for your blog. All right, so once you open this platform known as Kateb, you see this interface. Then right here, you have to enter your email address to sign up and click on Try Now. Also note that you are not expected to um, use any credit card for your sign-up because you are entitled to a free trial as a first-time user. All right, so I will go ahead to make use of a temporary mail platform known as TempMail to use it for signing up. Okay, so once you go to TempMail, temp-mail.org, you can create um, a temporary mail. You can see this is a temporary mail address. Also, you can use your Gmail, your Yahoo Mail, or any other email provider that you have. So, but I always prefer using all these temporary mail for sign up. So, you can click on this as in enter the email address you want to use. Click on try now. Okay, so right here, you can see you are expected to enter a username. This is the email I've just um, used to. Uh, enter into the field for it. Okay, right here, I'll enter uh, I'll enter a username here. Then password. Okay, you can also generate password here. Then you click on create accounts here. Once you are done entering these um, fields. Okay. So an activation code has been sent to the email address that you use for sign up. So when you come to the temporary, if you are using Gmail, you have to check your Gmail inbox. Okay, so can you see the email has already come, arrived here. So you can always refresh to, you know, check the arrival of the email, but it has arrived already. You can see the activation code, so you click on it to open it. All right, so once you click on it, You wait for it to load. Okay, so this is the code. You have to uh, copy this code. Right click on it, copy. Then go to your cartel platform and uh, paste the code. You can equally type it manually. This is 155769. Next, click on confirm. Okay, so right now we have confirmed our sign up. Next, you click on already have an account to log in. So once you click on that, you will see that um, there is a, a sign in form that will come up where you have to enter your username that you used during sign up and the password. So once you have entered it correctly, like you can see, mine has been saved on this um, browser. You click on sign in. So after login, uh, you gain access to this dashboard of Cateb. Now on this dashboard, you can see there are a variety of options that you can uh, choose from. For instance, you have the AI writer in which you have to um, put the topic you wish to write on. And the, this AI tool is going to generate unique SEO optimized articles for you. You also have blog outline 
whereby you have to enter the outline of um, your blog and it's going to generate it for you. Then you have blog intro. There's also a automatic rewriting, so in which you can rewrite an article in um, in seconds. It also has summarizer, uh, brand statement, paraphrasing, article ideas, uh, video description, blog outro, product description, Google ads. So this particular tool is a is a multi functional tool that you can even use to create uh, Facebook ad copies, image subject headlines, then um, about us contents and the uh, problem and uh, agitate and solution oriented contents. Then if you have promotional ideas that you want to add to your blog, you can also create um, and generate contents using these two. Then there's an option for affiliates. If you are running an affiliate program or if you wish to write a copy, for your affiliate um, product, you can make use of this particular option. All right, so right here, I will be going over to the first option, which is the AI Writer. So once you click on the AI Writer, it will take you to the AI development platform where you can start uh, creating your contents as you wish. All right, so right here, uh, first of all, you have to select an Eng uh, English as your language or any other language you you want. So actually, there are several language options here. We have French, German, Italian, Japanese. Okay, so uh, we've selected English. Then, how many variations of um, these um, contents you are about to create do you want? You need uh, only one variation, or two, or three, or four, or multi variations. So you can select them from here. All right, so Right here on top is the section for title. So you can enter the title of the content you want to generate using this AI writer. So uh, I'll enter it here by typing how to migrate to Canada in 2022. Okay, this is our topic or title. Then right here is the description. So you give it a hint of what you want it to write for you. I want to write about that title, to how to migrate to Canada in 2022. Now, when you click on generate, can you see it has turned to writing now? This particular generate button has turned to writing. So you have to hold on for some um, seconds for you to generate the copies for you. All right, so right here, you can see what it has uh, created for you. So if you are dissatisfied with any part, you can just highlight it. And once you highlight on it, you can see several options. You can see the number of words you have highlighted. Then you can see other options like enrich or complete this statement. So you can see right, like right here, this particular statement is not complete. So you can continue it from here. Then you can equally paraphrase this. You can proofread this and you can equally check for plagiarism. So we'll be taking these options one after the other now. If you click on enrich, so you see that it will extend this particular content from beyond this particular point now. Okay, so can you see? All right, so right here, you can see the, uh, you know, this was where it stopped earlier. So it continued from here now. That's the function of enrich using this tool. All right, so if you don't like what it has written, you can always highlight and delete and delete it per time. But if you do, you can leave it as it is. All right, so once you highlight the area you want to work on, you can paraphrase it. So once you click on paraphrase, you hold on and wait for it to um, come up with a newer version. Okay, so it has done that. Now, if you want to proofread, you can always highlight it and uh, proofread. Or highlight the portion you want to check out and proofread. Then, if you want to check for plagiarism, you can highlight all of them, or as it is, you just click on check plagiarism. So you can see you have to wait for it to come up. All right, so this particular tool now.
allows you to make use of any of those options. That's for on the free plan anyway. They have option for um, paid plans. So the pro or paid plans allows you to make use of this. All right, so you can see that uh, we have two versions of this. Now, if you want to really uh, generate more of this, you can just click on write as in generate, then it turns to writing again. And uh, you are going to definitely go get another version. So if you look up here, you can see the total words you have um, generated is 231 out of 2,000 words that are available for the free plan. So you can go ahead to utilize your free plan. You can see it's now 423 out of 20, uh, 2,000. So you have used only 423 words. All right, so like right here now, you can see these options. You know how to migrate to Canada and to as a permanent resident. So you can read through it and check whether if it, if it is what you like. If it is not, you can always tweak your title to suit you. So um, from maybe Africa in 2020, okay. So you can just tweak, you can you see what I did now? I just added how to migrate to Canada from, then you can put a particular location just to be specific in your content and click on generate again. Okay, so you can see it has generated more content. So you can go ahead to copy this and paste in your, uh, after proofreading and checking out each of them, you can go ahead to copy it and paste in your WordPress um, post editor where you publish your post. All right, so that is it. So let me um, make use of another title so you can see the different variations. For example, I may come here and type how to study in Canada as my blog post title without IELTS in 2022. Okay, so that's the title of the article. I want to generate using this um, free tool. Then I'll come here and write the brief description about it and click on generate. So once you click on generate, you have to be patient. You can see the button has changed to writing. All right, so you can see what it has generated. If you are not able to get IELTS, you can try applying for, you can see. So you will have to read the valuable content it has um, written for you and be able to you know, find what you are looking for in particular. So if you have a specific title for subheadings in mind, you can always type them here and generate and generate the uh, blog post as regards each of those uh, subheadings. Then there's also another rule of thumb which says that whichever subheadings you are using must be searchable titles, like it must be something that people are searching on Google. So, for example, if this is your title now and you have something similar to this on in your um, subheadings. Let me show you guys. So if you come to Google and um, type this, let's see. Let me show you. So can you see, you have only seven search results according to uh, what's dis displayed here in this result pages. So you have only seven search results for people who have optimized their blog post for this particular, to run for this particular uh, keywords and title so let, let me search again and remember this uh any search result that has been displayed to you you know google displays that according to your location your geo okay so you can see so once you type all in title only four is um displayed here it means only four blog posts are fully optimized for this particular title okay All right, so let's go back. All right, so right here now, you can go ahead to create a whole lot of contents if you want to. 
So once you are done, you just have to, you see copy here. Uh, you can always copy this content and uh, you see text copy. Once you click on copy, you see text copy. It's, it also counts the number of words that you've highlighted. Then uh, you can also proofread and check plagiarism. So um, when you are done with this, you can always go go on to uh, create your blog outline like this, like the overall body of the blog. So create your blog outline from here. Uh, requirements, documents required. You can write something like documents required for studying in Canada. Canadian institutions, something like this. Okay, so let's go. Canada institution. Okay, Canadian institutions. Then you click on generate. Okay, so you can you see it has written a unique content on this, like it has shown me, okay, the following documents are required for this. So these are like the top, uh, the sub headings you can then copy and use it to go to the body and develop it. So you click on copy, then uh, go to AI Writer. Then from here now, you can paste it here and generate contents for this from here now. So hope you guys are getting value from this video. So you can go on and on. Remember for each of these options you choose, uh, you can have different variations of one subheading. Maybe you can have three variations, two variations, one variation, four, five, six, seven. The maximum that you have here as option is seven. So it means that for each subheadings, you can have as many, as much as uh, seven variations of the same subheadings or even types or even intro now if you want to write blog intro specifically you can always go here and click on this blog intro then you um, input the the content idea here then click on generate remember the maximum okay the maximum you can uh, have as your content for free plan is 2000 as i said so you always have to watch that so that you don't exceed it, except if you are, want to go for the paid plan. Okay, so you can see it has generated something as our intro. So you just have to arrange your contents the way you want it to be and um, you are good to go. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you got value. If you, if you have any question or comment, you can drop it in the comment section below. Also, for those of you who want to uh, experience some results in your AdSense earnings and who want to experience growth in your blog blogging career as a whole, you can um, reach out to me via my WhatsApp contact in the description of this video. I will be glad to assist you in any way possible to increase your CPC and to increase your overall blog earnings. So thank you once more for watching. Uh, meanwhile, if you are new on this channel and you are yet to subscribe, kindly subscribe, click on the subscribe button below. Also, smash on the like button on this video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon so that YouTube algorithm can be triggered to um, put out this video and suggest it to many more persons who may find it helpful. All right, so till I come your way again with another wonderful update and content, keep winning. You are a legend. Bye.